Do you ever just go around your house and get mad at all the things you want to fix? I'm in the middle of shooting Tasty Tuesday, but I had to take a break. Well, one, because the recipe calls for a break. We were waiting for this dough to rise for an hour and a half. Take your time, queen. But I also have to cook dinner. I didn't even remember what time it was that like, it's dinner time. I'm not that hungry. I don't really get hungry when I shoot Tasty Tuesday, but then like I should eat because because you should eat, right, as a, as a person. So I'm making uh, my Hungry Root order came in today. Not sponsored, not sponsored, not sponsored. I talk about Hungry Root a lot on this vlog channel. I don't know how long I'm gonna be into it, but so far I've been into it for like three months and I have not gotten tired of it. It's really easy and convenient. Anyway, I'm making this thing, stir fry. Yes, give it to me in my mouth hole. We stayed up till the morning Talk until the first light of dawn Just like fate without no warning it Oh my gosh Yes, sustenance My body wanted that We ran three miles today I almost forgot We needed this Who knew? Who knew? Tell me, tell me who knew. Leave it in the comments. Hello, we're here in Shit They Don't Tell You and we're gonna talk about some shit that they don't tell you. Hello, hello, hello. We're talking about some shit they do not tell you. Actually, I'm not talking about it. Steve's talking about some shit that they, they don't, don't tell talk you. To me. And apparently we're not allowed to talk to him don't because to our roles have reversed and he's the stress monster right now yes. that has prepared an episode and is freaking out over getting everything exactly right. And I'm the one that's like, yo, it's chill, dude. People are here for the vibe. Just, just, I know. just have a conversation, bro. But anyway, he's gonna do great. Everybody go listen and comment about how great he did. Mm. Hey, stress monster. I know. What I can I feed like you? It's I know, so it's so odd to see. It's actually, I'm trying not to laugh. Cause, <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> usually that's me. It's because I care me. about this so much. I, exactly. Yeah. Same. That's exactly how I get when um, I really want to articulate something that I'm passionate about and, and like get it across the way that I understand it and feel it. But then I don't know if it's going to work. It's like that. I'm with you. But what I do is I hide it and I pretend like everything's cool on the outside so people don't even know that I'm that much of a stress monster until I share it with them. True. I am can you not... Can you pretend to be happy? Uh -huh. I'll teach you all about cryptocurrency, so strap up. We got some edamame in this corner. We got an edamame thief in this corner. He's acting dumb right now, but he's waiting. He's just waiting for his opportunity to strike. This is my guardian, scaring away all the edamame thieves. That's right, I pay him well. Hey, don't sleep on the job. It's 2.15 right now on Thursday. I set up three main things that I wanna get done today. Yoga, water my, water my plants, and clean. 2.15, and I have done none of those things. However, I have edited a vlog and posted it, set up a OBGYN appointment and gotten long-term life insurance for both of us. So doing a lot of adult things, okay. Also deposited a check, mobile banking, and paid some bills. I like how, like whatever I put down on this list, I will do everything else to procrastinate it, no matter what it is. So might as well have put yoga plants and clean and then gotten all these like annoying responsibilities out of the way. Not all of them are annoying, just the like, life insurance. Blah. I also have to finish setting up our 401k plans. Who am I? I swear like if I showed this vlog to myself, my three years ago self, I would have been like, who, who is she? But I guess it's good, you know, cause adults have to know these things. And like when we have kids, like our kids are gonna need us to know these things, right? Because like parents know everything. Now that I'm done with the vlogs though, we we should probably check off some of these cause our, I put clean on there cause our house, I don't know, by Thursday, every single Thursday. Okay, every single weekend, clean. Every single Thursday, the messiest place you've ever seen on planet Earth. I black out, I think. I don't know what happens between Monday and Wednesday. Monday and Wednesday are like my busiest days. I think I front load my whole schedule onto those days. Um, and then, you know, I turn around on a Thursday and like literally every single room, every single room is a fucking disaster. Well, this one stays pretty clean, but the closet is a little messy in there. Look at this room. 
messiest place on earth that you've ever seen. This is the bathroom mirror that I had ordered that I can now not put up because the one in there is glued and I don't want to deal with whatever I have to deal with with the drywall if I remove it. Um, so I don't know if I can return this because it's been sitting here for so many months. So I might just have to have find another place in the house for it. I was gonna put it over this couch, but I think this is a wood round mirror and this is a like brassy metal round mirror. Um, and the brass matches the brass here. So I don't really wanna change it out for wood. Do you know what I mean? Also, messiest place on earth. Even the flowers are like, we give up. Huh, Joe? Huh? Huh, everyone gave up in here. Okay, even my kitchen that I was so proud of getting clean is also now the messiest place on earth. I hate this area. This area. Ugh. Do you ever just go around your house and get mad at all the things you want to fix? Me every day. It goes like, I've been stuck inside this pocket a day. Empty walls and stress. Gotta stop smoking this cess. I turn redundant. I'm a con, I'm ignoring myself. Can't stomach it. Hello, baby. What a new baby leaf, a beautiful baby leaf. Welcome to the world. Dwelling, she said he telling me I'm the center of Oh, 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 oh. Um, I wanted to try something with this fiddle leaf. Wait, update, wait, update. So, we're like two weeks in on this fiddle leaf fig propagation. Remember when I, when I chopped that branch off and then we put it in here and look. <gasps> Little baby roots are coming in. We're so excited. We are living for it. Um, okay, so with this guy, now that there's not another branch here sucking out nutrients from the main boy, I wanted to try something that was suggested by Ashley from Patreon. She said that she uses coffee grinds in her in her plant base and it makes the freaking plant grow like crazy. And I wanna see, I wanna see if it works. So we're gonna cut open some Keurig freaking K-cups and we're gonna put them in the coffee grounds in the, in the soil and then we're gonna put some water on it and see what happens. I know, I sound like a crazy person, but I wanna see. I'm, it's science, guys. But I can't complain, I ain't a man of my own. I'm 26, not home. I ain't grown, but wasting my way to progress. But at least I got your love on my back. You said he making me laugh. For that, I gotta thank the Lord above us, cause you make me smile when my world look gray. You make me laugh when my sun is blue. Okay, so here are the coffee grounds. These are from a few days ago. So I hope it's still good, even though it's not fresh. Okay, so how am I gonna. I need to put you down. Okay, so. Putting the coffee grounds in. I think probably the closer to the trunk, the better. But I'm not a botanist, so. And some water. And then we wait. She said that it was a fourth cup of coffee grounds and two cups of water in case you're interested in trying it. And then she also said that it takes two weeks. Hers takes two weeks for her to see any like crazy rapid growth. So I'll keep you posted and then by that time, this'll be, this'll have been here for a month and I'll update you on that too. And, oh, and now I bet you're asking, well, what about that avocado plant? Can we get an update on that? Of, of course you can, oh my gosh. Thank you for asking. Thriving. Wish we could all be like this in 2020. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Hello, it's like seven now Hi, hello to you too It's like seven now We did all the things on our list We did the cleaning, we did the yoga, we did the plants Good job, us. We also did a fuck ton of other things that weren't on the list, which is like really cool, huh? I think um, putting less stuff on a list helps me do more stuff because I don't feel pressured to do all the things on a list. Towards the end, gonna be honest, didn't want to do yoga. I just didn't want to move my body. I didn't want to exercise. I didn't want to stretch because everything feels really tight, which is precisely the reason I need to stretch, but like, but like I don't want to because like it hurts, like it's tight. But but, Franklin, 
You know why I did the yoga? Because I am getting so good at keeping promises to myself. People ask all, all the time, like, how do you stay motivated? How do you, you know, when times are tough, like, how do you stay motivated to do all the things? I, I don't. I just started making little promises that I know are accomplishable. Doing yoga, cleaning, and watering my plants. I found personally, when I fulfill those little promises, I am then motivated. I then find the motivation to do a bunch of other things that I didn't even promise myself I was gonna do. And then that feels even better because I'm like, ooh, I did more than I said I was gonna do. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You want some food? Maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out. I'm too 